Welcome to this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, on this one, I'm going to do another brewery that I really like. Uh, they're out of Chicago, Illinois, and it is Pipeworks. Uh, but actually, Pipeworks did this beer in collaboration with someone called Owen and Engine. I have no idea who Owen and Engine is. It might be like a spice distributor. It might be a brewery. Who knows? It doesn't really specify. Sorry if I people think I should know Owen and Engine. I don't. Uh, so anyway, this one is called Soma, uh, and it is a golden ale brewed with coconut, amcor, and jaggery, and it's 9% alcohol by volume. Um, you can see the picture, pretty awesome. They typically have some really good artwork on the Pipeworks bottles, so um, it, just so people know um, what amcor is, is a, um, it's a powder uh, that is made from unripened mangoes it's like green mangoes so it's supposed to be like a citrusy type seasoning uh, seasoning and jaggery is actually like a uncenterfuged um cane sugar so it all actually has like the sugar crystals in it as well so that's what the amcor and the jaggery is and we all know what coconut is so expecting to get all those types of flavors in this beer so let's check it out it's looking the way I expected it to, very yellow, as it is said it is a golden ale, so it's very, yes, very gold, very see-through, it's obviously been filtered, ooh, that, <laughs> that's interesting, I definitely do smell that, like a honey note, like, that unripened mango, like green mango, which gives it like a tad bit of like a piney aspect to it. And it, I'm going to be honest, it kind of smells like honey biscuits. I have, my wife's just like staring at me from, from in the kitchen because she's interested in trying this beer. She's big on coconut, so she's just kind of like waiting with bated breath to see what I see say about it. But it's... um. It kind of tastes uh, or smells like a honey biscuit. If anyone's had like honey biscuits before, it's got that kind of like sweetness, that very biscuity nose, but with a little bit of like unripened mango. It smells really interesting, real interesting. I'm not getting the coconut on its own out of the nose. Maybe a little bit toward the end. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of alcohol off the scent too. Uh, it kind of kicks in in the end. So it does smell like it might be about 9%. Hmm. It's very sweet. Um, it kind of tastes very honey-esque. Uh, I, I do get a little bit of like a citrusy aspect to it, which must be the encore. Hmm. This is interesting. There's a bit of a drying aspect to it too. A tad bit astringent on the end, but not out of kilter, honestly. It's got that very nice light body that you would assume with a gold nail. It's actually not as syrupy as I expected it would be for 9% alcohol. Um, I don't think it really tastes like 9%. It might taste more like 8, 7.5, somewhere in there. Uh, so pretty well, pretty well uh, hidden. I'm trying to see if I can pick that coconut out, but I really can't pick out the coconut. I'm mainly, mainly getting the encore and what I'm assuming is the jaggery, which is giving it that kind of like honey biscuit aspect. Um, but it's really biscuity and with that bit of citrus, like green citrusiness. Pretty interesting. Um, pretty decent beer. I would recommend it. It's very different for what you're used to for gold nails. Um, but one thing I really wanted to say about uh, Pipeworks that I love that they do is that they have batch numbers. If you can see down... Right there, they'll say what batch it is. Uh, and that way, if you have any sort of issues, you can email them and let them know and reference the batch number. And they'll go back and they have some control bottles so they can check to see if there are any issues with it. So something I really like that they're doing. Uh, also, if anyone hears that there's like a bad batch, they can check their bottle and say, oh, it's this number. So it is that batch or it isn't that batch. So I like that they do that. Anyway, I'll go ahead and read a little bit about this. Da, 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 da. Um, brewed with Encore coconut jaggery sugar and a gentle hopping of Hollertau Blanc, this light, bright Belgian-inspired ale has a subtle Venice uh, character that comes close to divine. With Soma, we attempt to transcend the limits of the ordinary experience and offer 
up to you an otherworldly ale. Well, it's not really like otherworldly. It is interesting and different. But anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if you find this of interest, uh, go ahead and check it out. Pipeworks is always pumping out some interesting things. They try and they're not quite doing crazy stuff like dogfish, but they're I don't know somewhere in the middle. Anyway, awesome. Thanks for checking it out. Go get yourself a beer.